Don't treat people bad. Try to treat people with the same respect you respect of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody to treat you with respect. Treat them with the same respect. Yo, what is up guys? I'm Nick. And I'm Dad. And welcome, welcome to, to Buckethead Nation. Nation. And today we are watching Homeless Man Called a Bum. This will change your perspective. This will change your perspective. I don't know why. I, you know, the one thing I've learned in my life is you never know how somebody got to the situation that they're in. And you never judge. You never. You, you can judge, but it, if you lived their life, then you'd be able to understand it. So sometimes we need to give a little. Yeah. So. All right. You ready? Sure. All right. Three, two, one. My name is Ronald Davis. I've been on the street for about a year and a half now. Sorry if we don't talk much. We're trying to listen to this. I'm from the suburbs. Like, you know, which is... I never watched this. It's, it's rough. And, um, I mean, I didn't slept in the lower whacker. I didn't slept on the bridges. I didn't slept on the, the little cardboard boxes. I would hate that. And stuff, you know, to uh, survive. And especially in the wintertime is the hardest time. Yeah. And, like, uh... I go to a few lot of applications for a job and stuff. They look at me, you know, I'm not looking presentable. And then they, well, we'll call you, leave a number. But Dang. I leave a number when yeah. I don't have a phone. Yeah, they never call you. So <laughs> I, it's just a struggle out there. You know, I just, you know, from day to day, people, you know, I come out here and panhandle with my cup. Right here at the Metro train station. People come off, bring them in sandwiches and stuff like this here. And uh, I start out in my morning about 6 o'clock. You know, sometimes I don't even have enough. To go to the flop houses, but sometimes the flop houses are cheap places. They number sixteen Fla bucks for twenty four hours, right over there on Clark and Van Buren. Flop house. And, uh, yeah, where, where you go and you just stay for the so day. I end up sleeping in the park or on one of these benches downtown or something like this, and then the security guards come and run you off about five or six in the morning. Yeah. So by six o'clock, I started panhandling and trying to survive. And uh. Damn. Like I said before, some days I don't even have enough to get it wrong, so I just sleep on the sleep street. But I depend on the people that's coming off the train because most of them I give them respect. You know, most of them like me. They come out and give me clothes and food yeah. and stuff like this here, so I can survive. Give me a few bucks and everything, and I add it up at the end of the day and get me a little room for the night. And whenever I'm not fortunate enough to get the room, I just sleep in the street wherever I can. Damn. It's really humiliating wow. to be shaking a cup. 24 hours a day and people just look at you like you're some kind of little bum, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have had people to walk past me and say, get a job, bum. And I said, wait a minute, I'm not a bum, I'm a human being. Damn. It's, but it's true. That was deep. That, made, that gave me chills. That gave me chills, man. Oh my God. And it's, and it's hard. You never know what can happen to you. That's the that's the part that that you. When, when people go home and everybody get on the metro train and they mind, and then I just feel so bad that I can't be going home. Damn. You know, I'm sorry. Damn, this is hitting really, me. It's really emotional because I'm really trying to get myself together and get off this tree. I don't care what it's doing. If I can get a job and do this humidity, you know, I mean, you just lose all your humility when you're shaking a cook bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, you know, I mean, you know, you can look at a person and tell if they're getting you respect or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can. A lot of people look at you like you're just a, a piece of chrome. You know, I had one guy walk past me and talk about me so bad, and then I just looked at him. I said, God bless you, sir. <laughs> He walked past and went, went down the street, come right back. And he said, you know what, man, I had a bad day. He said, I'm sorry for even calling you that. He said, because I know you're a human being. He said, would you accept my party? I said, part of the accepted. He went in his pocket and gave me 30 bucks and said, go get you a room and get you something to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, no matter what people think about me, I know I'm a human first. And just because I'm down on my luck, don't get nobody no excuse. That's crazy. They call me no bomb. Because I'm not. Damn, that, okay, that, that was like pretty deep. I know we didn't talk much during that video, but yeah. we were just listening to it, man. Oh my God. That, that just lets you know that, you know, 
I, I, uh, I've had, I've had people in my family be homeless, um, and it, it's not, you know, it's, it's because of things that happen in their lives. But you, until you live in another man's shoes and been through what he been through, you don't know what to say. So if you can't say nothing nice, just don't say nothing. And every now and then, you know, what's a dollar to you? What is it? It's a dollar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want to help them, just give them a dollar. You know, if they're getting over and they're using it, you most of the time you can tell the ones that are that are not doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. You can tell, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a... There, well, the, sometimes you can. Because yeah. you, can't, you can't really tell. The I, there was a guy in... Which, there was a guy, he was standing, he had a sign and says, give me a buck, I'm a hopeless drunk. I gave the dude a dollar. Matter of fact, I gave him two. Because he was honest. You know, he just wants to get drunk. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just got to, you know, it's you. Yeah. Just remember, man, don't treat people bad. Try to treat people with the same respect you respect of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody to treat you with respect, treat them with the same respect. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, please press thumbs up. You got anything to say before we go? You already said a lot, but you got anything to say? Have a great day. Be good to one another. And uh, see you. See you guys later.